What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas effects tutorial for you. And in this one, I'm gonna be teaching you how to launch off the ground and fly like Superman. It's a pretty cool effect to do and it's pretty easy. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have Vegas Pro 17 loaded up. Let's go ahead and drag and drop our clip in. And then go ahead and say yes to match your project settings. And I have my rough cut of my cinematic clip in here. And this one part right here is where I want to edit me flying. Right about here. So I'm going to split it real quick. Just show you. Pop. Fly away. There's nothing in the scene. Fade to black. That's what I want to edit right here. We're going to go in and right where it disappears, we're good to go. So to start it off, I recorded myself jumping in the air. And then you want a still shot of the background where I can overlay and edit and make it look like I'm flying away. And then of course I have a blank background with nothing in here as well, where I'm gonna be putting myself in this scene. And that's all you need to make this effect. So let's go ahead and open Vegas Effects. If you right click on your clip that you split, go ahead and edit in Vegas Effects. And once Vegas Effects loads, let's go ahead and navigate our clip. We're gonna trim it to where we want it. I want to trim right where my feet leave the ground. So I'm gonna go navigate one frame at a time and right there. To trim it, I'm gonna select my clip, hold Control, Shift, and press D on the keyboard. That splits the clip. Now this bottom one, I'm gonna go right with the last frame of where I'm there, and that's this frame. And I wanna export this as a screenshot because I'm gonna cut myself out of here. So I'm gonna go to Options, go down to Export Frame, and I'm gonna name it Jump, hit Save, and then bring that into my media bin. And then bring this into the timeline as a new track right after I split the clip right here. Now I'm gonna hold Control and scroll in on the timeline to zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna grab this bottom clip which is where I jump at, and I'm gonna bring it into where my marker is, and this basically means this bottom clip is the blank background. I'm gonna move it over a couple frames. If I move this out of the way, you'll see we have me jumping, and right when my feet leave the ground, nothing. And that's where I bring this clip in, and now we're gonna mask it out. Make sure it's selected, then click the masking pen tool up here. And from here, we're gonna do a rough mask. We don't have to have it perfect, but get it close to the lines. So I'm gonna go down quickly, And then up here, I'm gonna round it off. There we go, and now it's masked. And it looks like this clip still has me in it. I'm gonna drag it one frame up, trim it up. So now it's blank. Now we have me here. And so when I jump up, it transitions into this cutout of me. And from here, all we're gonna do is move it around. So I'm gonna drop down the transform, and then I'm gonna add keyframes for position and rotation. And if I go back up and select my mouse tool, that allows me to move around this mask. So I'm gonna go two frames ahead and then rotate my feet out normally to where I'm not angled. There we go. And then this is where you can play with your specific clip. I'm gonna make mine launch pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go two more frames up and then move my position up. I'm gonna scroll out a little bit and then go up with this right about there. So let's take a look frame by frame. There you go, I just fly away. Now we need to add some motion blur and we could easily do that by clicking the little motion blur button right here. And we're beginning to see that looks a lot better. So let's see what that looks like real time. It looks pretty good. Maybe I can move myself a little bit to the right. There we go, it looks much better. Now you can bring yourself up a little bit more to increase the motion blur, but what you can also do to increase the motion blur, but this will affect the entire thing, is if you go down to your project settings, the gear right here, and then you go to the advanced tab, you can set your shutter angle higher and that's gonna increase the motion blur. So putting it to 270 also works for me. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then we zoom in, we can see the motion blur is even more here. And I like that. Whew. Looks pretty good to me. And then right here where the new scene starts, I'm gonna still be on my masking jump PNG, hold control shift and D and split it again. And now here I'm gonna reposition myself to fly past the camera real quick. So this duplicate right here is now gonna be for this scene right here. We can also split this to be consistent. Control shift D. So now we know these two go together and these two go together. You can also right click and put them into a composite shot if you wanted, it's your call. It's however you wanna stay organized. But from here, now I'm gonna drop down my tree, go to my transform and I'm gonna delete these keyframes because they don't apply to this scene. So here, I'm going to insert new position and rotation. Zoom out a little bit, bring this down. And then we see me. I'm gonna put my first keyframe of me down here. Maybe rotate it a little bit and then go one, two, three, four, and then move myself way up here and see what that looks like. So if I go frame by frame, you see me fly across the screen. 
Maybe I want to do that quicker. I can select the final keyframe and move it over one to the left, and that makes this only three keyframes. And there we go, it looks a little better to me. I just fly past here real fast, and then we'll wait a few seconds. And then from here, we can now make ourselves fly across the screen. So I'm going to take the second jump duplicate, hold control, shift, press D, and then that splits it off in its new track. And I'm going to do the same thing with launch down here, control, shift, and D. And that splits it off. So we know this goes with this. And that's how I'm staying organized. So let's drop down the third jump right here, transform, delete these keyframes. We don't need them. Insert new ones, position and rotation. Zoom out a little bit. Bring yourself down to you see your angle and whatnot. So from here, I'm going to rotate myself angling this way. And I'm going to start off about this angle. And then I'm going to go about 15 keyframes and then turn my angle a little bit right about there. So go back to the very beginning and I want to shrink myself. I've found that the scale going down around the 5% works for me. It could work differently for you, but if I do 5% and I click out of it, we'll see that that is my little person right there. I am flying way high in the air. And so I'm going to go back to my jump, go to my position. And I'm going to start with my initial position. I'm going to move it way over here, maybe even up a little bit. So I'm going to come in from here. Then move your keyframes up to the very end over here, 15th keyframe. And then move yourself wherever you want. Maybe right about here works for me. And now we click away. We can see what that looks like. So now we're flying across the sky. We are just a blur in the sky like Superman. So let's see how this whole thing looks. Looks pretty good. Maybe it's a little fast, but you can adjust your keyframes as needed. So if you wanted to make this fly across here more than just 15 keyframes, we can click and drag, select these two, move them out way about here. See what that looks like. That looks pretty good kind of seems pretty clear. So if you wanted to adjust that, maybe bring your timeline back to the first keyframe, select your position and then move it, you know, a little bit further away and then go to your last one and move it a little bit further away. That'll make you blurrier. So let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good to me. All right. One more time. Fly away, go and bam. All right. And once you're satisfied, just go ahead and save and then you can close Vegas FX. And now, it is applied to this clip. So we go frame by frame, launch off, fly past the screen, fly in there. That was the first part, the special effects part. You can really spice it up and make it look better. If you wanna add like a wave or a bulge, making the camera move, you can even add smoke under there. I recommend putting in some sort of sound effects, some sort of maybe an explosion or just a launch sound. There's a bunch of free sound effects you can find online. You're free to do whatever you want, it's your project. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make something like this happen. And there you go. You now know how to make yourself launch off the ground and fly around like Superman or Supergirl. If this video helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down here because that'll really help me out I'm trying to reach my goal of 20,000 subscribers. And I could really do that with your help. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. And I want to give a shout out to all my supporters, especially my super scrappers, LMC, HPL Gamers, and Old Man Beta.